Hey beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a prophetic word for the month of May. Yesterday as I was stirring from my sleep, I saw three words. I often see words because I'm a seer. My prophetic gift is in the seeing anointing, meaning that I see things and God builds off of those. They're like building blocks that I put or images that when put together, I can prophesy or God get releases revelation into that which I have seen so that I can share the word through what I see. The Bible says in Habakkuk 2, um, he says, I will watch and see what the Lord will speak to me. So sometimes the Lord says, but sometimes he speaks to us through what he shows us or images. And so anyway, I saw three words and the words were principalities, power, and dominion. And I was saying, Lord, these words, where do they, you know, what do they mean? I understand principality and power and that we have dominion. And it was almost as if he was showing me that there are principalities and there are powers that are at work against us, but that we can take dominion, that we have authority over all principalities and powers in Christ Jesus. And so I want to break this down and because I woke up and I looked for the scripture verse where I could find these three words together. We hear about principalities and powers and we hear about dominion and authority, but where I found them together in the Bible is what I want to share with you today. Before I get into this word, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it with someone who is struggling and feeling like they are having to fight a battle and they don't know how they're going to win in it. That they have authority, that the battle is already won and that God gives us victory through Christ Jesus is what I want you to know today. And so Ephesians 1 and verse 21 actually verse 20, no, 21 is where I saw this, but I'm going to read through 15 um, through 22 so that you can get the fullness of the message. And then I'm going to um, speak the word that the Lord has given me. Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for the saints, Lord bless your word, do I do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. This is Paul talking in Ephesians 1 to the church at Ephesus that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being <clears throat> enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what are the riches of his glory and the inheritance of of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principalities and power and and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come and he put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all. And so it is Christ. The Bible says this power he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in heavenly places. So when we go into Ephesians 6, we see that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. But Christ has been seated far above. So there are heavenly places where all the spiritual um spiritual beings live but there are ranks and rules rulers of ranks and dominion and the way the lord showed it to me that if there is a governor of a state and then there are mayors of cities and there are senators and those type of things that go and speak on our behalf but then on top of that there are there are council people in cities and they have different ranks and they're over different areas and they have ju different jurisdictions but the principalities and powers means a jurisdiction so uh 
principalities means magistrates and jurisdiction um, powers they have been given certain jurisdictions where a magistrate would be a ruler over all the different jurisdictions and then they have dominion is that the authority that they rule with but uh, and but the lord said principalities powers and dominion and so let me read chapter 6 to you starting at uh, verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Why did he say this? Because there are wiles of the devil that try and attack us. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. So this host, these dominions, the, um, these principalities, because right here, it says in, in verse in chapter one, it says that he's over pow principalities, powers, might, and dominion. But how is he over that? He is over that because he has all dominion. So he has authority over all jurisdictions, over all magistrates, over all smaller authorities, which would be dominions, where somebody has a a neighborhood where a spirit is a familiar spirit or a demonic spirit has a neighborhood. They have then come into that atmosphere, into that area, and taken dominion over that part of, or city or neighborhood where the jurisdiction is higher than the dominion when we're talking about rank of spiritual wickedness and then the principalities are even higher so he said when you think of it this way in the earthly realm and in the in the natural realm how authority ranks out then think of these things that way but he says that there are a host these hosts of wickedness in heavenly places Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore with you, having girded your waist with truth and having uh, on the breastplate of righteousness and having your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace and above all taking the shield of faith wherewith you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy and the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all supplication in the spirit and being one watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Why did I read that out? Because the word, when the word is declared, it breaks things. It implants things in us. The Lord is the breaker. He goes before us and he breaks open the way, but he also breaks forth on our enemies. It, uh, David called him the breaker because he is the Lord who broke through against his enemies. But then the word declares, I believe in Micah, that the Lord is the breaker. He goes before us and opens up the gate. And so I'm speaking his word because he said he and his word are one in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and so I'm speaking his word and declaring it over you because there are principalities there are powers there are rulers that what else did it, uh, the Bible call them there is might there are dominions, there are different levels of the enemy that come against us. And sometimes we're fighting on a lower level and things are on are in the second and third heavens going on. But be encouraged. The Lord was trying to show me that we're sometimes fighting against the wrong thing and we're using the wrong weapons. It's principalities and powers and dominions that we are fighting over. But that Christ... When we are in Christ and we use our weapons in Christ, he has been seated in heavenly places high above. So we need to understand that even though these things are going on, wickedness in heavenly place, host of wickedness in the heavenly places that Christ has been seated high above all these things, every name that can be named. He seated him in heavenly places, but he seated him far above all these things. So these spiritual wickedness the things that you are fighting that you refuse to look at that we sometimes refuse to look at we want to deal with the person we want to rebuke the person the situation and all these things and God is saying you have to take your fight to the next level you have to take your fight to the higher place but you have to do it in Christ you have to rule and how do we release our authority that we've been given in Christ how do we release that dominion that we've been given in Christ we release it through our words through the word 
words that we pray. Hallelujah. So I pray over you this morning that you would know that the things that you are going through, you're not fighting against carnal people and the weapons of your warfare are not warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. So whatever you're going through, if you're believing for your marriage, if you're believing for a new marriage, if you're believing for your children, if you need a financial breakthrough, a healing or a miracle in your body, whatever you need, then you can take dominion over that thing in the name of Jesus and Paul said having done all to stand continue to stand hallelujah when we're in an evil day because it's going to take standing it's going to take patience it's going to take endurance because sometimes there are things that happen right away when we pray and it breaks but then there are things that we have to continue to stand and believe God and the enemy wants you to faint so this is why he sends these the wiles of the devil are meant to get you to faith. He sends these strategies and these these assignments and wickedness against you. And you're fighting in the <coughs> natural, but it's a spiritual battle. And I'll just end with this. <clears throat> Luke 10, Jesus said in verse 18, he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. He fell out of his place where he was in the place where he was, he had access to God, but now he was fallen to the lower heavens. <clears throat> Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice that your names are written in heaven because beloved, you are a child of God Jesus has given you authority. And the problem is that we don't use it. We let the enemy run buckshot over us. And I was reminded of what I'm fighting against and the authority that we have, that even though there's principalities and powers and even dominions, different jurisdictions and areas, demonic forces that attach itself to families, that attach itself to people, to to um, areas, to neighborhoods. That's where we see a lot of violence and things like that. And But we have dominion as Christians. We have been given authority as believers, blood bought, born again believers in Christ. We have been uh, given authority. And so I pray this morning that you would release whatever you are going through. If there's something that you are struggling, if there's a place where you can't break through, if it's something that you have been um, struggling with and battling for a long time, I pray that you would not give in and give up, that you would continue to stand, that you wouldn't faint, and that you would take dominion over the circumstances with your or the words of your mouth. And can I tell you something else? Don't come out of prayer. We've all done it before. And then we um, declare the opposite of what we've been praying for. And then that almost cancels our prayer. And then we wonder why we're going in cycles. But after you pray the word, um, stand still, be silent and see the salvation of the Lord. He will come for you. He will fight for you. Just wait on the Lord. And so I just want to share that with you and encourage you. God bless you. The word of the Lord for the month of May is that you have power and authority over all principalities and powers and dominion in Christ Jesus. And this was Paul's prayer that the eyes of our understanding would be open to understand the hope of our calling and what has been entrusted to us. We are part of Christ's body. So God bless you. Meditate on that. Get it in your spirit. And then let it come from a place of knowing, believing, receiving, and knowing who you are in Christ and what you have been given. And that you don't have to take everything that's handed to you. You can return some stuff to the sender. Some stuff you're going to say, no, thank you. No, 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 no. I know what you said, but I'm not taking that evil report. I know what the devil said, but I'm not, I know what it sent. I know the bad news came, but I do not receive it. I have a authority to turn it around and send it back to the sender. May the traps that have been set for you, may those who set them, even in the in the heavenlies, may they fall into the trap that they set for you in the name of Jesus as you take dominion over the things that are going on in your life. Because beloved, you have a sphere of influence and authority. So we all have been given a sphere of influence and authority in our own lives to um, 
um, we may not have jurisdiction over everything unless God gives you an assignment. So don't fight any battles. There's no need for unnecessary battles that you have not been called to. But when God gives you and shows you an assignment, those are the battles that you fight. Don't go over trying to fight every devil on every demon, but the ones that God shows you and he quickens in your spirit to fight. But in your own life and in your own family, in your own jurisdiction, you have authority to declare a thing and see it be established. You have authority to fight and pray for your family and believe and tell the enemy to go. And sometimes, trust me, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen, but we do have that authority and the enemy has to stay his hand and reverse what he was doing when we pray um, by the word and stand on it. So I just wanted to encourage you with that. God bless you until next time.